you might have seen my previous video on a diode harmonic generator. The reason to build it was to test this quick converter I built for 70 MHz. I won't do a test of this converter right now, there's no local signals on 70 MHz, but I will describe the circuit. If you're in a country where 70 MHz is an amateur band, this could be a useful project for you. The converter is about the simplest you can get. The idea is that it steps incoming signals on 70 MHz down to 50 MHz. That's useful because there's a lot of commercially made amateur gear that covers 50 MHz or 6 meters, but not 70 MHz. That includes the Yaesu FT817. Anyway, this converter has got two stages only. One is a crystal oscillator single transistor crystal oscillator and that uses a 20 megahertz crystal that 20 megahertz is a commonly available frequency so you should be able to find it fairly cheaply the mixer stage is a diode mixer so there's no RF preamplification so the sensitivity of the converter won't be as high as if there's an RF preamp but you may well find that the sensitivity is enough if you're in a noisy area. Um, I found that there was an increase in noise when I connected an external antenna. The diode used is just a signal diode like you'd use in a crystal set, a germanium type like a OA95. Anyway that diode is the mixer so it combines the incoming signal 70 MHz in with the locally generated signal on 20 MHz to produce a different signal at 50 MHz which goes to this BNC connection to the receiver on 50 MHz. The thing you see here with the black cap is actually a beehive trimmer. It goes from 5 to 25 picofarad and you use that when you are peaking the front end of the converter. I'll show you the circuit and give a bit of a description. When you're building this, first of all start with building the 20 MHz crystal oscillator. The transistor used is a BC548, or you could use a 2N222. Any small signal NPN type transistor will do. If you have a general coverage receiver, you'll hear a signal on or near 20 MHz. It's likely that it will be slightly off 20 MHz if you build the circuit described here. It might be 5 kHz low. If that's an issue, you can add a small capacitor, say 22 or 47 picofarad, in series with the 20 MHz crystal. That will bring the crystal frequency up to nearer exactly 20 MHz. The output from the crystal oscillator goes into the diode mixer stage, and it's actually at that same point that you've also got the output from the converter going into your 50 MHz receiver. There's a 4.7 microhenry RF choke that goes from the diode to the ground. That's not critical, that can just be a small pre-round type choke. I'll just give you a close-up here. The front end here is a single tuned circuit. I've mentioned the Beehive trimmer before. That resonates with a coil nine turns on about 10 millimeters diameter. You could use a pencil or similar. It should be bare tinned copper wire because you want to be able to make various tapping points, one for the antenna, one for the diode, and you may need to vary that for optimum performance. Here you can see the coil. One end goes to ground, the other to the beehive trimmer and the tapping points one for the diode one for the antenna. One issue you may have with this converter as it's a very simple circuit is there's a risk of incoming FM broadcast signals clobbering the front end. That's particularly because with this oscillator circuit you may well have a signal at 40 megahertz appearing on the output. That's because it's a very simple circuit and there's no filtering at its output. And of course if you mix 40 MHz 
with a 90 megahertz incoming signal like you get on the FM broadcast band then you'd also get a difference around 50 megahertz so if that's a problem if you're near an FM broadcast signal and it's on the wrong frequency then you may need to build a more advanced converter one with a tuned circuit on the output of the oscillator and also one with some better selectivity at the front end. You could potentially have two tuned circuits on the front end, another one identical to the one I described before, or you might have a low pass filter, probably several sections required, resonant at 70 megahertz. Another possibility is using a magnetic loop antenna that will be quite small on 70 megahertz but it will still be fairly tight as far as selectivity goes and that would provide some reasonable rejection of other frequencies. In terms of getting the converter to work, once you've established that the crystal oscillator is operating by tuning across its signal with a 20 MHz receiver, you plug in your 50 MHz receiver and apply a signal at 70 MHz to the antenna socket or at least via a wire nearby. If you don't have a 70 MHz transmitter, then you could use what I described in the previous video, the harmonic generator, where you choose a frequency like 7 MHz, and then 10 times that will be 70 MHz, so you'll have a signal there. It's best to use the highest frequency you can, or you have available, for instance, if you have a 14 MHz CW transceiver, then that times 5 is 70 MHz. That will make it easier to confirm that you are actually tuning on 70 MHz and not some other signal, because the harmonic generator will give you other outputs like, as well as 70 MHz, if you're using 14 MHz, you'd also get 84 MHz and also 56. So especially with the lack of selectivity on the crystal oscillator you want to be sure that you are tuned to the right harmonic so this is it no demonstrations as 70 megahertz is not an amateur band and there's few other local signals in australia but if you want to get an idea of what this converter can do then have a look at one of my earlier videos where i made a two meter converter that stepped signals down to the VHF aircraft band and I could hear 2 metre repeaters on an air band receiver. Not many specialised components, the main ones being the germanium diode and the front end trimmer capacitor, but a very simple and cheap way of receiving 70 MHz on a 50 MHz receiver. No doubt there's improvements you could make for instance some better selectivity and maybe an RF preamp, but this will get you started.